All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, we got some pretty crazy updates in the entire uh, dream situation, right? So this has been kind of going on for a few days. Really, some of it has been going on for way longer than that, even up to like a year or whatever now. But I mean, this situation was kind of like recently rekindled, right? There's been a lot of like drama and controversy surrounding dream. And you know, there's like really two different camps of people, it feels like. There's the, I would say, dream supporters or dream team, if you will, okay? And uh, these are the people who, of course, no matter what Dream did, they're going to be defending him. And, and this has happened in pretty much any situation ever that's involved his name. But I mean, it's one of those things where people are just going to defend him regardless. Like, he's got stands and all these followers and whatnot. They don't really care what the dude does. I mean, he could punch Jesus in the face himself and they'd still try to find a way to defend it. And then there's the, like, Dream haters and the people who kind of want to see his downfall. People are hyped on Twitter right now talking about, oh, this is the downfall of Dream, bro. His career's over. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but more than all of that, right? What we're about to take a look at here is just pretty insane and disturbing to say the least. It's just nasty and weird. So before we get into the videos and allegations and whatnot here, right? I want to go ahead and say none of this is 100% confirmed, okay? This is still speculation. This is just people trending this on Twitter, you know? Uh, there's circumstantial evidence that this is real and whatnot. We're going to talk about all that and whatever in the video, but this is not confirmed to be Dream 100 million percent right now. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there is no 1 million percent concrete way uh, to like prove that this is him, but these are allegations being made against him. They are gaining significant traction, and if true or able to be, you know, kind of more proven, they are extremely damning and damaging to him as a person. So, obviously, the big, I guess, drama around Dream over the last several days has been about the whole grooming allegations, right? Whether or not he was like, texting and sexting uh, underage fans and people on social media and whatnot, right? Because there's been some leaks and there's been stuff that's happened before. I've already made videos talking about this and, you know, going over that evidence and going over, you know, the claims or whatever that, that kind of already have all happened in the past, right? I'm trying to more stay, I guess, current and in this time period with all of this stuff because, like I said, it, it just spans over so long, right? Because there's, as far as I'm aware now, three different people who have accused dream of grooming them or like being weird or whatever and uh there's a couple pieces of evidence i guess that have been put out on twitter and whatnot that we're going to take a look at here uh that are going to honestly they're going to kind of shock you right because like i said this isn't one billion percent proven to be dream however man if this is actually him, dude, it's uh, it's really kind of over for him. So some more, I guess, evidence or whatnot, some more allegations about Dream kind of came out in the last couple days. This one that I'm taking a look at here, this tweet at least, is from about 16 hours ago now. And there's two different videos we're going to take a look at. Uh, they're pretty short, and then there's also a screenshot that allegedly shows this being Dream's, like, real Snapchat account here, right? So you're seeing that this is supposed to be the, like, legitimate Dream account or whatever whatever right here uh and so this is i guess the proof that these videos are actually him so we're gonna go ahead let's go ahead and take a look at these videos real quick and talk about them and then we'll come back after that all right so what you just allegedly heard is yeah I, how do i i don't know all right, I had to take a few seconds to kind of gather my bearings here real quick. So what you just heard, allegedly, was two different videos of Dream moaning to minors on Snapchat videos. And as you can see in some of these captions, man, I mean, he's just, uh, he's being accused of wilding. Like, not even just the moaning videos themselves, which are insane, okay? Uh, but also the things that were being said in the videos, right? Like, uh, oh, I'm gonna tease the shit out of you, you know, kiss your neck run my hands up your body, you're so sexy, like just, you know, pretty insane things to say, man, like, I don't know, bro, that is a different level of horny from whoever this was, right, now, once again, we do not know one million percent if this is Dream, however, the evidence is pretty damning, I mean, it sounds like him, they've got the Snapchat account that lines up pretty much with what Dream's Snapchat account is supposed to look like and say and whatnot, a few things of note that I do want to point out, and this is not to say that the evidence is fake, this is just to provide like counter arguments because this is not 100% proven. In their defense, there, there's no face of Dream in any of these videos, there's no, you know, solid way to prove that that's actually him. I mean, anyone could have just moaned into a black camera and fucking put that text on 
on there and said, hey, Dream did this. Can you believe that? Anyone can create a new Snapchat account, make the Bitmoji look similar and type in the name Dream Dream. And then, you know, it'd be the actual Dream apparently, right? Now, Dream has apparently responded to the entire, I guess, leak of these videos and whatnot, right? Uh, on his private account. I guess he has a private account that he addresses shit like this on. I don't know. For me personally, right, I, I think it would be better if he's going to try and like debunk this allegation or whatever, which we're about to take a look at here. This is something you probably shouldn't do on your fucking private account, right? I don't know, man. But anyway, people that hate me are taking an opportunity to kick me while I'm down. I've never sexted anyone underage and I'll fully address everything that's ever been thrown around in my video I'm working on and will expedite it especially now. The new allegation quotes that I'll add will go into my video now as well is a second-hand allegation not backed by any victim for a reason. It's from a person that hates my guts and has attacked and spread lies about a bunch of YouTubers and me proof which it's more Snapchat messages. They were in an awkward and weird relationship with my abusive ex for a while and are now trying to ride the internet hate wave to hit me while I'm down. I made the mistake of being intimate with this completely above age friend years ago and haven't talked to them in years. Again, I will go into it in more detail in my video, be comprehensive. I've never sexted minors or groomed anybody. This person is not mentally stable and has broken down on live streams about me in the past and I wish them nothing but to get help for themselves. So people are saying in this kind of like response or whatever that Dream kind of like basically confirms that these videos are true because he says things like, oh, I've never sexted anyone underage. I'm going to address everything. These people are trying to kick me while I'm down. This new allegation is secondhand. This person hates my guts. Now, from my understanding of how this leak happened, right, uh, of this information, uh, the victim did not want to be public. Uh, they didn't want to, like, make this thing public. So they gave the evidence to a friend who then went to social media and posted it all. That's what the story has been told to me as. That's what I've seen in several tweets talking about it. So that's kind of like the current theory uh, that's going around is that the victim themselves did not come out about this, uh, but a, like, friend or an associate did for them. And I guess that by Dream basically saying like, oh, this person hates me or whatever, he's kind of like confirming he knows who this victim is, which I guess confirms that he did this whole thing. Once again, I don't know. For me personally, I would like to see more 1 billion percent concrete proof that this is 1 million percent Dream. But given, you know, all of the circumstantial evidence and like, you know, given the response and everything, it is definitely possible that this evidence is real. It definitely is possible. It's not 100 percent, but it's definitely possible. Even maybe likely, I don't really know. But regardless, like, I'm definitely gonna still want to see Dream's response to this whole thing. I know a lot of people, when allegations like this come out, right, they're just, oh, I, I, I don't care, you know? If he does actually make a legitimate, cohesive argument with evidence in his defense, that'll be a lot better for him. Uh, he's saying, apparently, that he's gonna expedite that video now, that I, these new allegations came out. Once again, very weird for me anyway, because the other allegations were already made against you. These are new allegations sure but like you should have already been trying to expedite this anyway man like this is a pretty serious allegation this is a pretty career defining moment for you bro it's like could literally change your entire life if you uh do or do not respond correctly to this whole thing right so you'd think that he would want to clear his name and like vindicate himself as quickly as possible but now let's go ahead and, and say that these videos are real and we just got a video of dream uh moaning essentially to minors on snapchat that is it's disgusting like the the reaction to it already has just been gross i don't know about you guys but i'm already like not really one of the dudes who wants to hear other guys like moaning sexually i'm not a huge fan of that that, right so having to hear a minecraft youtuber allegedly do it uh yeah that, that definitely made me a little more uncomfortable than i wanted to be right i definitely got some more chills in my back and sickness in my stomach than i wanted but i i mean i just i don't want to you know cover this as if it's 100 million percent fact i know a lot of people online are just throwing this as if it's like automatically guaranteed to be true because it's dream and you know because all the stuff that's happened has happened and whatnot i get how the internet can be sometimes you know this is a serious allegation being made uh, people already don't really like the guy they kind of already don't want to see him do good 
And there have been instances where people who, you know, are maybe obsessive with a creator or a personal friend or whatever that they have a vendetta with now, right? They, they have been false allegations made, right? So just automatically taking this as if it's 1 billion percent fact, I don't really want to do that off the jump. But I mean, I definitely at this point, like if I had to guess whether or not I believe this is real, right now, I do believe that it's probably real. That's just my personal opinion. I do think that this is probably legit just because you know, this is not the first time he's been accused. This is not the first piece of evidence that's come out. The way he's reacted to everything has been weird. The guy doesn't do really anything to help you give him any benefit of the doubt. The lengths that people would really have to go to in order to falsify these kinds of claims would be pretty extreme, uh, but just, it, it's one of those things overall, man, where I, I don't want to jump on that bandwagon automatically and be like, oh yeah, this guy's fucking guilty because, you know, it, that's, that, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a cop, I'm not a judge, you know, I'm not a forensic scientist. The truth will eventually come to light. I just wanted to cover the allegations and talk about them. Uh, but yeah, once again, if I had to guess if they were real or not, personally, I do believe they're probably real, but we'll see. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to optimist. Make sure to check out shop down below. Thank you to my watch optimist subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about the new dream allegations and signing out.